just out right now to do a quick errand, going to a money exchange. It's changing a small bit of money. And so my experience so far with exchanging money in these countries while traveling, the best way to go about it is once you're in the city that you're staying in, Google search money exchange and look for the one with the best reviews. And so far has been working really well for me. So I Googled one, had a lot of great reviews. And uh, fortunately, it's not even that far of a walk away from where I am. So heading there currently, gonna take care of that. But later in the day, I'm planning on, uh, so I was thinking about like, well, okay, what kind of cool experiences can I have in KL? And so I thought, you know what? Let's go to a shisha bar. So I Googled searched shisha bars and I found one with really good reviews. Pretty much dominated all the other shisha bars. So I'm planning to check that out later today. Take you guys along. Let's go. Holy crap, that was fast. Probably by far the fastest like money exchange service I've ever seen. Literally just like walked up to the counter, just gave him my money. Next thing you know, boom, there we go. I feel like that's how it should be. Anyways, oh, I'm just gonna roam around for a little bit. Maybe start heading towards that shisha bar. It's Cause it's a bit of a walk, especially from the money exchange. So I'm gonna head there now. Slight change of plans. Just gonna head back to the Airbnb. I'm so stuffed. Main reason being, it actually, the, the bar I wanted to go to, or sorry, the shisha bar I wanted to go to is actually not too far away from the money exchange I, I just went to. But the thing is, I know they have really good food there. So I'm gonna go back when I'm hungrier. That way I can enjoy the shisha and as well as the good, um, good, good Arabian food. I think it's Arabian, Egyptian. Yeah, so we'll do that later in the day. Really love the vibes on this street. It's definitely a place you come to to eat. There's so many good places to eat around here. So. Definitely gonna come back later. I only have so much room in my stomach, unfortunately, but this place I definitely have to come back to eat. There's just literally both sides of the street lined with restaurants. All right, so I've actually seen a couple spots or quite a few spots selling durian and I actually do like my durian. I think at some point I might have to try that before I leave KL. Cause uh, I was just walking past that and you can just smell it. All right, quick little story time. So after leaving the restaurant, and heading towards the money exchange. I was passed along the street, which is lined with massage places. Anyway, whoa. Anyways, this girl comes up and she's like offering a massage and then she, mes and then she mentions a happy massage. Hmm, I wonder what she was referring to. But yeah, thought I'd just share that. I don't think I'll be going for that though, to be honest. I think I prefer massages in Thailand, especially Thai massages. They're just so, good for so cheap and I think even cheaper than here in Malaysia so I'll be back in Thailand for that anyway but I'm just gonna talk a bit while I walk back to the Airbnb so I've been in uh, Southeast Asia for like what over a month now over yeah like a month and, and, a, and a week pretty much and I'm pretty much accustomed to the heat here and the humidity but still it still is so hot and I haven't even faced like I guess the sunny season. I've already gone a couple of shades darker. I swear after a few more weeks to months, I'm gonna come out black. And even just being here a short while, I've already gained a lot of insight. So I'm gonna share some tips with you guys. So for those of you who are on a really tight like backpackers budget or just a tighter budget in general and don't wanna spend too much money on food, I found the best way to go is obviously the local spots, but even more so you wanna go to those smaller they almost look like street stalls sometimes and they almost look like 
like not even like proper local restaurants they're just like you'll know when you see them like it's okay for a good, a good example is that roti place i went to that indian roti place that i had places like that you will find even cheaper food like great food made fresh it's probably the same as you get at the local restaurants but for a fraction of the price so definitely check those places out if you want to eat on a budget a few moments later all right it is currently 7 10. the sun has nearly set the city is starting to light up and i'm currently headed over to the shisha lounge Alright, so I made it here. It took a little bit of navigating, but it wasn't too bad. Google <laughs> Google never fails. Alright. So I placed my order, and now I'm just waiting. As far as shisha goes, I just asked what was most popular. And I've had shisha before, so and I've had the apple, so I'm going with the double apple. And uh, yeah, the food looks amazing. Uh, I ordered a big picture of, they call it like Arabic champagne, I think it was called. But it's pretty much just like a mix of juices. So yeah, I'm going to sip on that while I enjoy my food and shisha. And uh, yeah, once the food and everything gets here, I'll share that with you guys as well. Cheers! It's non-alcoholic by the way, this is juice. So the table space is really um, small, so it's gonna be really hard to get like just me eating and camera set up somewhere, but I'll try my best. All right, food's here, let's eat. So I got like a mixed platter. It's got like beef, or sorry, chicken and lamb, and it comes with fries, salad, and some other stuff I totally forgot. I kind of just like ordered it. <laughs> So this is my actual first time at a real shisha lounge. I've actually never been to one, but I've had shisha before. But it's always been at friends' houses, so this is a really cool experience for me, having like authentic Arabian foods, shisha, as well as like authentic Arabian drinks. A really cool experience in chaos. So if you ever guys uh, come here, come to, uh, I'll post the name of the, uh, this place, and then yeah, come check it out. It's highly recommended. Really good reviews, and I can see why. Friend, I mean, the staff is extremely friendly, and yeah, only good things to say. So we gave this bread here, and I think I kind of made a mistake because I think I'm just starting to realize that I was supposed to eat this with the um, the lamb and the chicken and everything, but I'm just gonna have the bread by itself with like this sour cream. But yeah, rookie mistake. Yeah, 
I was supposed to definitely have this with the chicken and the lamb. back. I swear it always feels like the streets of KL always come alive at night. It's so lively. It's only what, like a Thursday and everyone's out on the streets enjoying the night. And I can see why. Especially when the night's all lit up and the streets all lit up. It's beautiful here. Mm -hmm. 